What's going on, everybody? Well, we got some more trim cards found. Are they all new contenders? Uh, football from this year. And I lost where I put the hockey puck, but let's get the scammer, scammer thing all warmed up here. We got the light flashing. All right. I'm going to blow this up here on the big screen here for you guys. This is all courtesy of Blowout Forums. Uh, this guy here goes by 3124508 on Com C. Honestly, he has uncovered so much of this stuff through time that's been put out publicly. He is very good for the community. And this, I'm hoping a lot of you guys have seen this already, but if you haven't, there's a lot of work that goes into this stuff, and there's a lot of recurring people who are known for trim cards and everything throughout time where they create new eBay handles. They have stuff on Instagram. And with social media today, as most of you guys know, it's very transparent. And if you're going to post something, it's going to be around for a while. and Somebody's going to catch you. I mean, there were guys that are taking screenshots of people's stuff on Instagram that are known trim cards, and they delete it as soon as they get rid of it. Just so they think there's no evidence. But trust me, it's out there. All right. Let me scroll down here. Here we go. This is really interesting. When If you break it down, I'm going to put the link in the description if you guys want to read through the whole thing. So basically, these known trimmers are buying cards raw on eBay, and the account's Kong53, which will probably have been changed by now. Trimming it, grading it, listing it on Instagram, and selling it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so bad, you cannot trust anybody anymore out there. And it's just really, really bad. Now... Anybody knows you can track down somebody's PSA subs. It, it takes a little work, but you can. As long as you get that one serial number and you can start figuring out whose was in what submission, um, it's insane. You guys got links to the stores and this guy's Instagram. And it just shows what he's buying on here. They're proving it across the board. And you can see here, here's a list of this guy's whole orders. I mean, some of this stuff is Pop 1, and if not, he might own all the Pops. All contenders. Look at them 10s on there. I mean, really, he did. I know, I know we're going to get the joke. He really trimmed a Davis Mills variation. Yes, he did. Zach Wilson's, uh, Mac Jones, Trevor Lawrence is a big one. So, this toes about the reference with what the card was sold and all this stuff on to here. There's a Trey Lance. It just means I'm staying away from contenders unless I grade it or know the person that did grade it now. You can see the whiting on the card. You can see whiting over here on the card. And what they're looking at, see how thick this dotted line is right here? I don't know how well you guys can see my cursor. See how thick it is here? You go down here, and this is the one that's slabbed, of course. You can tell it's very little, and it's showing a difference here going across the board. Same with the barcodes, you can tell. There, there's a lot to this. This one was serial numbered out uh, 21. So this was really easy to be distinguishable onto it. Look at the whiting on the corner here, here, and they're showing it whiting on the edges. Whiting down here, of course, on the corners, 20 out of 21, right? And then he's showing the pictures of the slab. I don't know if he has the slabs on the side here. Let me just look. Yep, here's the slabs. 20 of 21. One thing about forums, you got to get used to it. Look, no whiting now. Look at that whole edge. All completely different. I'll go back up here. You guys can see a difference. Look at the whiting all gone. And this is what I talk about with things sitting in a case wrong. You have to really blow it up because these guys are good at trimming cards. There's a variant allowed. And they've taken it to the necessary. Like this is probably as much as they're allowed to do. And you can see a little bit of gap right here. 
Not saying it always works out that way because we all know cards come out miscut all the time by these distributors or by the um, uh, manufacturers. That one wasn't serial numbered. All right, let me scroll back over so I can get to where I was at here. But that's just one T law. Mm. There's a variation. If you scroll to the right, it shows you the difference on to them. And wh what they did is how they found this out was by taking that whole eBay account, linking it to the Instagram, and noticing when things were popping back and forth. And then at the same time frame, once you get that one serial number in the order, which say out of the 21, the uh, T-Law was out of 21, you ring the ones around it and you start putting pieces of the puzzle together. And he said more to come. Oh, here's more Trey Lance. That's that certificate number. And that's how they were shown. It was proven to be graded by them. Yeah, I mean, like, you see all these guys talk about it. You know, how do you get that many tens and all this stuff? This is how, look, here's the Davis Mills. I think this one was, no, it's, re yeah, red zone should be numbered, I thought. Let me scroll down. Oh, I don't have the whole back picture. For some reason, I thought Red Zone was numbered. I could be wrong, though. But, I mean, he went in depth on digging this stuff up to put it on here. A nine, look at all that whiting on this. And then you come across onto it. Let me see if there's anything else down here. More T-Law. He was going through a lot of this stuff. And like I said, you had to balance the serial numbers first in order to... I'm, I know it's flashing on in front of you guys. We're trying to get back up top here. To get this comprehensive list of what all was graded. And this was all contender stuff. So if you guys see these serial numbers out there, it begins with 644... Um, and then it goes anywhere from, what is this, 158? Oh, there's different batches, too. So, a ton of numbers, a ton. Be careful what you buy in Contenders if it's graded. If I were you guys, I'd page mark this on your phones in case you're in somewhere to buy it or you see one out there. Just stay far away. Because it's just not good that we're still seeing this stuff. We still got these guys out there doing the trimming on to this. And if they're doing it on these big cards, we know they're doing it on smaller ones too. But it's just trying to piece everything all together onto it to figure it out, you know, what all could be possibly trimmed onto. It was a Mac Jones 10 of 10 PSA 7 trim. Depends on how bad that was in shape to begin with. It might have been a four or five. But you see a lot of these tens going down. He definitely had a lot. And I guess from what everybody's saying, too, there was a lot of them on the Instagram. That's a lot of tens for contenders. Especially with the way the uh, coloring along goes on to the edges and stuff, it's really hard to get tens on that stuff. Usually your cracked ices used to be like where you kind of had like a little slither of hope at. But nowadays it's really not even there. But I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention if you haven't seen it in blowout forums. Like I said, this guy here has been doing this for a while on here. And he does really, really good work. He has to put a lot of the pieces together. Um, everybody across the board knows like this dude is like, he's not going to post this stuff, put himself out there unless... He's done enough research onto it. And with this here, like I said, he had to track serial numbers down. And then the, there was a lot of other work that had to go into it with pulling stuff from the guy's Instagram of all these tens and everything. Then going back in, going by serial number searches to figure out, okay, all these contenders were put together in a batch. So these are all his because these three do. This nine must be his, et cetera, et cetera. So... Bring this out just in case anybody's out there 2021 contenders football hunting and you start seeing this stuff out there. Page market, screenshot it, whatever you need to do. That way, at least when you're out there to buy it, you at least know it's not going to fall into one of these serial numbers. Not saying he won't get the serial number changed down the road, but never know. All right, guys. 
I will talk to you all later this week. Have a good week.